Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.5. So in today's video, I will give you guys an update on the beta 3. We have talked about this update a few days ago, but here we have some more details regarding this update and everything else you need to know about the next iOS releases. Now, first of all, I got to show you guys this. This is a Geekbench score with Geekbench 6 here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max for iOS 18.5. 18.5 beta 3 and as you can see if we compare these two scores this is the one that i did on the previous beta it actually has improved a lot so the single core score right here is at 2890 while you can see here a huge improvement with 2947 points while you can also see a great improvement on the multi-core score so 7331 with the third beta while you can see right here the previous beta was only at 7167 a great improvement here and we also have a few more betas or maybe a couple of releases until the final release which means that there's also room to improve way more which is always great now another really important thing when it comes to new updates is of course battery life now the battery life has actually been quite decent with ios 17.5 especially here with an iphone 15 pro max with the battery health being at 91 percent it is most likely way lower than that in my opinion it should be around 86 or 87 because this hasn't updated for the last four or five months so you can see right here the battery lives that i got you can see right here with 120 percent battery 11 hours 36 minutes that's actually really great right here with about 135 percent battery usage 10 hours 5 minutes right here 125 percent battery usage 8 hours 20 minutes while the last day here with about a 100 battery actually it is at seven hours and one minute which is again quite a decent battery life when you know that this is still on beta and of course this is a device that doesn't have a new battery it still gives some amazing battery times now when talking about battery this right here is really interesting this is something that has been discovered by our friend here fahad which has been posted now on x and you can see this is a screenshot of what is the charging section on the battery under the settings so if you go to your settings you go to battery right here and then you go to charging that what you're seeing right there but it has an extra button right here now what this is is basically ios recommending you to actually set a charge limit for your iphone so you know on the iphones we have this slider right here which allows you to basically adjust how much you want to actually charge your iphone so if i just want to charge it at 91 percent, i can do just that but now if you have this turned off so if i just turn this off based on your daily usage your iphone will recommend you to set a charge limit so in this case it has recommended 85 percent all you have to do now is just hit that button and it will set that automatically now fahad here has said that it's on ios 18.5 so that's a great thing a great update that i haven't seen anywhere before so it's most likely a new addition to ios 18.5 and you will probably see this very very soon on your devices as well now, despite that new setting or feature, whatever you want to call it, where you get that suggestion under the battery charging, there's actually not a lot of new features and changes with iOS 18.5 and especially with the third beta. Now, of course, there will be a few new features. We have a new feature here that actually had been removed from iOS 18.4 and now is back here with the back tab banners of course pretty cool feature i just guess it's actually quite useful because a lot of times if you have one of these enabled you will just do them accidentally like double tap or triple tap ac accidentally and then you don't know what's happening let's say i double tap there and you have the screenshot set up if my iphone just takes a screenshot by accident 
I don't know what's happening and why I did that. But in this case, we will have that banner. Now, of course, we have the ability here to show and hide the contacts photos on the mail app. There are also new redesigns for the Apple Care on the settings app. And you will also find a new way to actually customize your notifications for screen time. These are basically the new features and changes that Apple has added to iOS 18.5. And most likely this will be it because we are very close to the final release of iOS 18.5, which I believe is a matter of like a couple of weeks or so until we get this update released to the public. So as you can see right here, we're on the 25th of April today, and I'm guessing here Apple is releasing most likely what will be beta 4 and what will be actually the last beta of iOS 18.5 on this Monday, so that will be April 28th. So right here, expect Apple to release the last beta of iOS 18.5. Now, I'm guessing right here on the 5th or the 6th, there will be the RC version of iOS 18.5, which is basically the last update that Apple will release to the devs before moving on and releasing this update to the public. Now, in the meantime, during that week, there might be an RC2. It has happened actually quite frequently in the last few updates. But as far as the public release goes, I'm expecting Apple to actually release the final version of iOS 18.5 to the public on May the 12th. That's my opinion. That's based on all the history, everything that has been going on for the last few updates and how Apple has managed and released updates in the previous years. I'm expecting May the 12th to actually be the date that Apple releases iOS 18.5 to the public. Now, in the meantime, we will also have a new update most likely coming out very, very soon. There is said to be an iOS 18.4.2 update that might come out really soon. So that might happen any day now, maybe at the beginning of the next week, we will see that new update released. Now, as you might know, Apple Apple has also stopped signing iOS 18.4. Now the only like signed update is 18.4.1, which means that there will be a new update out really, really soon. And that will most likely be iOS 18.4.2, which of course, as always, will be like a small update with a few fixes and improvements. So what to expect next? Of course, we're expecting the first beta of iOS 19. That will be June 9th. We have that confirmed now. We know it's happening, but there will also be iOS 18.6. Now, 18.6 has been also spotted and that update is coming out most likely after the release of iOS 18.5 to the public. So I would expect that to be somewhere around here, the 19th or the 20th of May. Of course, we don't know that for sure yet, but most likely that will be the case when Apple releases that new update, which I expect to be similar to iOS 18.5 with a few improvements, maybe a couple of new like UI changes or smaller features, but nothing big. Of course, the big stuff is coming with the new iOS 19. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you did and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.